I'm here with Peter Nicholson from Wealth, WCPD. How are you today? I'm great, Tracy. Yeah, having a good PDAC so far. Well, PDAC 2024, what are your objectives this year? My objectives this year is probably to, well, I can't control the bull market that I hope is about to come, right? Um, I'm getting tired of this bear market. I've been in charity flows since 2006, and we've really had a difficult time with the markets, of course, it's probably the peak at 212, but uh, just continue to work hard, find liquidity providers, and keep on talking about our story, about being a very efficient way, both for the issuers to get a higher premium using charity flow structures, and for get the back end, the liquidity providers that will hold their stock for long term and not dump it. So we keep on telling that story and uh, it's really resonating. Of course, there's I would think there's an increased level of opportunity, volume of opportunity with all the latest critical mineral you know, legislation. Is there or is that just a rumor? No, I can tell you, I li I'm living it. It is the best thing that's ever happened to the critical mineral companies. It's the best thing public relations wise has ever happened in the mining industry in Canada. I mean, I, I had clients that didn't want to participate in a mining flow through because of the past hist history, dating back hundreds of years of whether it's environmental disasters or human rights issues. And we've had to educate the Canadian uh, you know, investor that uh, that it, it isn't that way. Now, what's helped is that, of course, the government came forward. I mean, I'm highly biased. You're biased. We're in this industry. But when other leaders of the of, of the world, whether it's Biden or Trudeau or even the conservative government saying we need 10 times more critical minerals, it's the only way to get to zero carbon uh, by 2050. Uh, all of a sudden, people are positive on mining. Uh, not Maybe not so much on the precious metals, but for sure on the criticals, the lithium, the cobalt, the nickel, the copper. Uranium. What you just said right there, you know, if you were a new investor and you were wanted to take advantage of the critical mineral flow through opportunities, what advice would you give for the investor besides call you, of course? <laughs> well, look, I think it's a phenomenal opportunity. Uh, I, I, I myself have been buying extras. I put another million dollars in in the fall into into juniors. Um, they're at historic lows by any type of stretch of valuation. Eventually, this market will turn. So I think uh, I would be selling my real estate, my Magnificent Seven, or at least lightening them up on it. And uh, um, even Bitcoin, which I don't quite understand. I mean, that's we've lost about two generations of, of investors in the mining business. Uh, they they haven't really loved mining since my grandfather in the late 70s when gold was loved at that point. It was a big part of everyone's portfolio is your safety net. You had five or 10 percent of your net worth in gold. And we've kind of lost that investor. So we need to educate and bring new blood in, new investors in, because the old investors, we've been in it, we've been living it. And we've fortunately, we've been going down this bear market and it's really eroding away our net worth. So if I was a new newbie, I would be buying more and I'd probably focus more on critical minerals, although gold might be a good play as well. Okay, so. and a favorite province. I mean, there's different uh, benefits in different provinces. Quebec, Saskatchewan, they seem to have additional bonuses for investing in critical mineral flow through Correct. in those areas. Would Correct. you like to comment on that? Sure. Well, you're you're you know you're 100 percent out. You're pretty soon you can do my job, Tracy. You've, you've got a really good handle on it. Um, yeah, the the provinces that are the best in in order, Quebec is the best because they don't even charge a capital gain. Uh, when you file a Quebec return, half of the money goes to Revenue Quebec and half goes to the feds. Every other province in Canada, it all goes to the feds, uh, and then the feds will disperse. But you're right. Uh, then it would be Saskatchewan and Manitoba with a 30 percent provincial credit when it comes to critical minerals. Uh, and it uh, then would be BC at 20. And then Ontario's at five and they, everyone else kind of blends together, the Alberta and the Atlantic Canada. But if you live in those provinces, there's are extra incentives for you and it's a little better return. And if somebody is new to the industry and they want to learn more, where should they go? Where should they go besides, uh, you know, Google and uh, artificial intelligence on learning? Well, if you go to our, our website, just to plug ourselves at WCPD, stands for Wealth Creation Preservation Donation. We've got some easy to understand uh, examples of how flow through structure works. Charity flow through is another word for the flow through structure. Um, I just also find, uh, you know, going to, to your site and looking at past interviews. Uh, when I have time, that's what I like to do. 
Uh, there's a wealth of information and they're very consistent. This, you know, our time will come. All things are cyclical, uh, especially in the commodity business. And I think uh, this is our turn, 2024 and onward. Well, Peter, as always, it's such a pleasure. Yeah. I hope you enjoy the rest of your PDAC. Okay, thank you, Tracy, great.